What is up, you guys? We back and ready to attack. Okay, so we're doing the composite being series, the four part composite being. And I, I understand some of you guys are visual learners and stuff. Okay, uh, so I'm going to show you guys some things here. Okay, so we're going to cover our soul next, right? And uh, again, I've seen it astral projecting. So this is, and I tell you, it's in the astral plane like an energy body, okay? So what's this? This is a leaf, and they cut the leaf, okay? Do you see that the leaf still has its energy body intact, okay? Did any of you guys pick up that my finger was broken on one of the other videos? And uh, I was trying to show you, because this is what I see in astral projecting, right? I was showing you this is what your soul looks like, and... Again, this is my finger that was broken. I broke it with a hammer stapler doing, building my house, right? So, but it healed back, you know, it's been like a month. I grew a new nail. It's fine now. But, uh, again, so your soul, we're going to cover that next. And I try to be really quick on this one. I just want to give a visual here. So we just covered the body. We covered the emotional body. We're going to cover the soul. We're going to cover the mind last. So, the soul, if you look at uh, sunlight and you kind of glint, like squint a little bit and you can get, you'll see it like little strands of hair beaming in and it'll look like magnetic. It, it'll look like little beams, like little tiny little strands of hair, but it'll also look like magnetic in nature. If you squint in a certain way, you'll see the sunlight like that come into your eyes. and. That's kind of what your soul looks like because it's a light body. And so it's like, it's like the energy template for your human body. And your human body grows and tries to achieve perfection to that template. And so, again, like this is a human's hand, right? So with Carillion photography and stuff, they can capture like your aura, your energy body, right? And that's your soul. So... Here's some things, okay, if you believe in karma, you're admitting that there is intelligent design in a creator. You're admitting someone is up there accounting for these things that are happening, watching and observing, making a list and checking it twice. He's going to find out who's naughty or nice or whatever this is. So if you believe in karma, you're admitting there's an intelligent thing. And I think it's kind of unthankful of us and ungrateful a little bit to... Uh, you know, not be grateful and thankful for all the blessings we've been given. We've been given so many blessings like just for us to have air to breathe, water to drink. You know how much work the universe had to do to create all those elements and all those things for you to have, right? So, and it was not an accident, right? So it's an intelligent, intelligent design. It's all by design. Um, yeah, so, and then again, I'll try to be as fast as I can here. So the next one, we're going to cover the soul in depth. And then, yeah, make the most of yourself. We all win, you guys. Peace out and stay blessed.